all around this island because there's a lot of Mirelicks that come and invade my house, if you can say. There's a lot of them, so I put turrets all over the place. So let me just show you guys here. Okay. So this is the workshop right here. And this is my house, if you would like to say. Let's open the door right here. TV, living room, the Coca Cola machine, generator that powers my house. There's a switch I can turn on and off the lights. I got the Institute flag and the Minimit flag because those are the two side. Those are the two factions I decided to side on this game. And uh, patio. There's a great view of what is left of the Commonwealth. And shit, yeah, there you go. There's my cooking station and all the food I keep. Yeah, so. Cooler. Keep my purified water and Nuka Cola and all that. And if you go upstairs, right here, this is like my own personal room. So, I have a basketball hoop. <laughs> uh, this is my chair, another patio upstairs, and. There's a junkyard dog that I picked up from someone I don't, I don't even remember. But yeah, okay. This is my cabinet, my desk, my suitcase, cabinet. <clears throat> and this is my, um, I guess, place where I keep all my armor and clothes. There's a lot of them. <laughs> and uh, let me just, I'm just going to scroll through just in case if you guys want to see everything. I have a lot of them. I collected a lot of shit from just going around picking stuff up. But there's a little. Yeah. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff in here. Uh, there's my bed, trash can, paintings. I have this thing called a jukebox. It's actually pretty nice. It plays like music and stuff like that. And uh, this is my uh, steamer trunk. This is where I keep my armor that I built or modified, named. These are the armors that I usually use a lot. Pretty good armor. Fusion core foot locker. And this safe, this is the most important safe because it has all my weapons that I picked up. And here, actually, you know what? I want to put some weapons I picked up from traveling earlier and yeah okay put that there too so this safe has all my weapons all my legendary weapons all the weapons I've been working on everything I'm just gonna scroll through it just for you guys to see it there's actually a lot of good weapons that I'm planning to use in the future but I haven't really I'm not really using them right now so I just keep them in here and yeah there you go okay so moving on from my safe this is my magazine collection um I actually have a lot of magazines but I don't have any <laughs> space to put them and I don't really feel like building another one so I'm just gonna keep them so this is my uh magazine stand you can see all the magazines I have and this is a Mag another magazine stand. This is where I keep all my magazines. And uh, this is my bobblehead shelf. I, I know there's still... What is that? Six I have to collect, but I'm kind of lazy. Don't feel like going around collecting it. I will eventually, just not now. But these are the ones I do have at the moment. And yeah. There you go. There's a lot more I have to collect, which I am. TV which never works uh... minimag institute flag broken toilet broken bathroom and uh... dresser and yeah that that's pretty much my house so but on this lovely island that's not the only thing that i've built i've built one two three four other houses and uh, I like to show you to them show you them 
This first part is the ammunition. Ammunition. I've been playing GTA a lot. Ammo workshop, if you want to call it. Ammo storage. This is my wooden crate with my artillery smoke grenades. These smoke grenades are basically grenades I throw in the Miniman. When you side with the Miniman, you have these uh, cannons that shoot wherever you put these flares at. My synth relay grenades. Throw these in. They, you know, spawn in synths that will team up with you and kill any. This is my uh, grenade box, cannonball toolbox, flamer fuel and stealth boys, and this is my mine metal box. Now moving on here, this is uh, probably the second most valuable place for me, because this place is where I work on all my weapons and power armor. As you see I have my armor workbench, my weapons workbench, and this metal box where I keep all my modifications just in case if I ever need them and uh, these are my power armor suits I believe the only power armor I am missing is T51 which I can get from somewhere but I haven't gotten it yet but these are all the power armors I have the T45 with the shark art whatever you want to call it shark decoration this is the T60 with a Voltic paint T60B is that? yeah T60B, T60, or same thing, winterized T60B with a jetpack as well the X01 mark, I don't know what what mark is this? mark 1? yeah mark 1 um and Ignore the toolbox. This is the cream of the crops. This is the one that I use the most. It is um, an X01 Mark VI. This is the best power armor you can get in the game. With titanium paint and jetpack targeting system on the helmet with calibrated legs. This is, this is the, if I'm going into a heavy battle, this is the power armor I'm going to use. Which I rarely use power armor in this game, but when I do, that's the one I'm using. Um, yeah, this is my weapons workshop. Alright, leave from here. <coughs> now, this place. This place is a really interesting place. This is the chemistry lab. Laboratory, whatever, where I make different chems and work on stuff. So, I just got a little cute, put some microscopes on the table. Alright, so this is my syringe metal box where I keep all my syringes. As you see there. Uh, my mentats. I actually have a lot of mentats that I picked up that I have to drop off. Where is that? There you go. Let's put 10 there. Yeah. Alright, so this is my mentats metal box. If we move over here, here's my blood pack metal box my buff chem metal box my psycho chem metal box and this is a cooler where I just keep the addictol, blood leaf and all this stuff I have a lot of jet <laughs> I, I usually make them and sell them just to get like caps and that's what I use is a jet and the other stuff is a bunch of stuff that I use to make other chems chem stations and right here you see a safe right here which is where I keep the most rare drugs that I rarely use as you see here I got an Excel very rare this is a thing of beauty I haven't used it yet but when time calls I'll be ready overdrive mysterious serum very rare day tripper daddy own calmex or whatever you say that so yeah alright as we continue here away from the chemistry station I do have this is a little fun little thing I added I do have a basketball court and a basketball 
Just in case a miler comes from the ocean and wants to fuck around and get dunked on, but yeah, there you go. And this is just a little, this isn't really anything, this is just a house where I keep all my workers that work on the crops, this is where they all sleep. Not really important. And, um, what else, what else, what else, what else, oh, yeah, right here. This is just a desk that I have. That I keep some stuff, some valuables. And, yeah. Oh, there's also one thing I'd like to show you guys. I got this little thing called Buddy. Would you like a cold one, or did you want to hear a joke? Alright, this is the cool thing about Buddy, okay? Let me show you the quest. This is what it's called. Trouble Bruin. This is the quest that you have to get. I think you get it somewhere in the... Tap house, I think you have to go to the Shamrock Tap House and you have to go through a lot of raiders and there's a system where you can hack it and release this little robot. And this little robot is pretty cool, and I'm gonna show you why. Alright. Let's say I want let's say I have a drink. Like Nuka Cola. Nuka Cola Quantum. Now, if we go in here and we see The Nuka Cola Quantum. All right. HP 600, Rads 5, AP 100. Value 50, weight 1. Okay. So that's just a normal Nuka Cola Quantum. Now, if we go over to Buddy here. Hey, Buddy. Good to see you again. Care to wet your whistle? Or do you require a laugh? His jokes are pretty shitty, I won't admit, but that's not important right now. So, you can set him to go to whatever location you want, and you'll be there. But let me show you a cool thing with Buddy. So, you give him the Nuka Cola that I took, Nuka Cola Quantum. You give it to him, right? There it is. Now, in over a period of a day, let me show you how this works. Let me just go sleep. If 24 hours pass and a day goes by, this is what happens. Let me show you. Let's just sleep for 24 hours. He acts as like a cooler or a refrigerator where you can give him some. It doesn't work on all drinks, but it works on most Nuka Cola drinks. You give it to him. You wait a day or a few. And. You, you'll see what they turn into. Okay. So let's go. Check with Buddy. Hey there, pal. Hey there, buddy. Here for a glass, or did you want a cold beverage? I'll take a beer. Cold. Refreshing. I was checking our Nuka Cola Quantum, and it's not there. It it turned into an ice cold Nuka Cola Quantum, and as you can see, it has significantly higher HP, more AP, and it's pretty much better. So it takes any drink, any Nuka Cola cherry, Nuka Cola anything, you give it to him, and over a period of a day, it'll turn it into an ice cold drink or whatever. So. That's useful. That's something interesting. And yeah, Buddy's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, that is my base home. Like this video and tell me if you want to. I have a lot of bases that I've been working on and they look pretty cool. And if you want any, just tell me. Hit me up and uh, I'll make more videos to show you. And uh, as you see, hold on, let me show you some stuff. As you see, I am level 93. These are my perks. Right there. And, uh... All that good stuff. But yeah, man. Fallout 4. Really great game. Really great game. I recommend you buy and play if you haven't. I've been enjoying it so far. And... Yeah, that concludes this video. See you all see you all in the next one.